Hey, Catalina Foothills Church. Uh, this is Rob Penley, and it's my privilege to preach from Colossians this coming Sunday, Lord willing. And we're going to be looking at a short, uh, brilliant, beautiful section focusing on who Jesus is and what it means that we are his. We'll start in verse 13 where we left off. He has delivered us from the darkness. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him, all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He's the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. In everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. And you, who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him, if indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. So much here about the person of Jesus, his <clears throat> the fact that he is preeminent over all things, that he is the heir. That's what it, when it says the firstborn of all creation. Obviously, he was not the, when he was born from Mary, millions of people had been born before that. But this is saying the firstborn as in the heir, the prime, primary one. Um, he is above all things, dominions, rulers, authorities. So listen, we all struggle with feeling like who's in charge or how do I respond to circumstances that feel out of control? Well, what repentance can look like here is repenting of what is unbelief, namely this world is chaotic and who knows where it's headed. Well, this world is chaotic from our perspective and who knows where it's headed as far as we can see. But this passage challenges that temptation that we have to fear and anxiety and confusion. And it says, I'll tell you who's in charge. I'll tell you who's in charge of all things. In fact, everything was created by him and for him. It's the man who came to bring the kingdom of God and to set you right with God. That's who's in charge of all things. And he's reconciling all things to himself. Again, this passage also talks about the power of his death. What all cosmic changes happened because the Son of God suffered and died in our place. Can't wait to unpack this. You guys have a great Tuesday. Lord bless you.